this thing. But I don't, you know. That makes me kind of nervous. Like right now. Being under it. Just, it makes you think, what if? You know what I'm saying? On today's episode of When Thugs Use Power Tools, we're cutting some stuff off. We are cutting some brackets off of this sucker. Already started. Yeah, she's ready to come off. Gonna cut off all the unnecessary stuff. We're gonna banana bar, nobody needs that crap. Cutting that off. Got some steel. Right there. Got some steel. Yeah. Gonna do some reinforcing. Got all of the uh, arms pretty sitted. Looking good. Molded. Smooth. Smooth as I'm gonna get them because I am gonna do body work to them since I'm gonna paint them. So I'm not gonna get real crazy with making sure the metal work is perfect. Um, got these looking pretty good. Good enough. Good enough for me. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm going to start hacking. Now is the part where you turn paper and metal. Um, I got the basic shape. The 64 rear axle is pretty basic. Um, the, I would say the Lincoln rear axle was a little more difficult to get the contours of everything, but this is pretty basic shape. Get a little angle for the uh, trailing arm mount and the curve for the pumpkin. So as you can see that little dot there, that's the height of my tubing. So it's only gonna stop there. I went ahead and made the whole curve just in case, but it's going to stop right there and right there. So what I did was I laid this out on the tubing, that angle, that angle, on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this crap out. Hopefully it works. It's teeter totter here. Got it. We got it. Remember that game of teeter totter I was just talking to you about? Got a little hot. Got a little hot. basic shape. Now I'm gonna I try to cut it a little wide when I cut with a plasma because it's hard to get it exact especially when you're as stupid as I am. So cut a little bit wide and then I try to go back through hold the paper back up there see where we're at and uh, clean up my edges bring them in a little tighter. So I'm gonna do that spend spend a little bit of time grinding on it and I'm gonna test fit it. So my original design sucked, okay? I'm not gonna lie to anybody here. It is what it is, all right? It sucked. I'm okay with that. I redid it. Hear me out. It's a little hot. That's what I got, okay? Doesn't look like much, does it? But, got to thinking about it. I don't want it to look all big and blocky. Like, I know I'm going after King Tut and all, his rear end is, is massively reinforced. Um, it sticks down past the pumpkin like that far. I don't really think that's necessary on this. It might be, 
guess I'm going to find out the hard way if it is. But on an Impala, you're not running a chain bridge. Um, you're not, the rear end isn't under as much pressure, at least in my head, it's not under as much pressure as like my Lincoln is when I three wheel that thing because the Lincoln has such a stress point from the chain getting tight and basically where the chain mounts and the cylinders pushing. I mean, that is a serious stress point. So I could see that axle tube and that Lincoln bending. That's why I ran a big plate on that. Um, these cars, I don't have to do that. I don't have to crank on the rear end to get the thing three wheel. You can actually just use uh, the weight of the car and dump a corner to get these cars to three wheel from what I've seen and the research that I've done, which is all just basically watching YouTube videos. Uh, so it's not like you gotta power that corner up to get it to three wheel. You can just dump it and let gravity take over and three wheel. So I don't think the rear end needs to be that super reinforced. I've seen a lot of people not reinforce these rear ends at all and just chrome them. Um, and they're three wheeling the crap out of them. So, and then you gotta think this is tubing. So it's actually two plates with a center reinforcement, all one piece. So it's got to be stronger than just a single plate. Um, but I like the look of it. I like that look. I think that looks clean. Um, especially once this bracket's cut off of here. I think that's going to look nice. Have another one going on that side. I just, I don't think I need the big bulky, you know, boxed up rear end I, I just I think that's gonna be enough um, also the cylinders don't even mount to these rear ends so the cylinders not pushing on the rear end at all I don't think you really need a whole lot of reinforcement I, don't, I definitely don't think you need a six inch stack of steel hanging off the pumpkin it seems unnecessary but I might be wrong but I'm gonna find that out soon enough, I'm sure. Um, happy with the look of that. So now, I'm gonna make another piece that goes over there and uh, get those suckers tacked in. And uh, you might be asking, why are, why are you just tacking it in? Well, it's because I am about out of gas. I use these little baby tanks and they run out of gas fairly quick. Why don't you just go ahead and get one big tank? Tickler, come on, man. Uh, cause they're stupid expensive and I don't know if you've noticed this, I'm building a six foe. Okay. Money is getting hard to find around here. So slow down. So yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, uh, OG triple quadruple stacked up, uh, killers out there that are going to tell me that this is stupid. I'm stupid. My car is stupid. Everything I'm doing is wrong and I'm a hillbilly, but I like the look of it. So my car, not yours. I think lately I've been speaking a lot on the, the haters. I have never had, since I started doing the YouTube videos, I've never had as much support as I've gotten off of the YouTube videos before. I mean, I got tons of support and I, I appreciate everybody that supports the channel. Um, I mean, it, it's great, the, the feedback I get from most people. Um, I'd say 98% of people. Uh, the feedback's really great. Keeps me going, keeps me motivated to come out here um, and do this stuff. But I have, I've never had so many supporters. I've never had so many people just downright hate me. I mean, just, because all my YouTube notifications go to my phone. So I'll be sitting out to eat with my family, and my phone will, you know, I have my phone sitting there, and it'll go off. And I look down, and it's YouTube comment. Your car is stupid. Can't believe you do that. All right, cool. So, if you're here to hate, I'm gonna unlock that for you. You're going outside. I don't have time for it. Don't have time. There's the door, people. Let's get back to building a six-fo. 